Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, we've been hearing Nicki Minaj talk very excitedly about getting married, and now she has officially changed her name on Twitter to Mrs. Petty. So when you at Nicki Minaj and you see her profile picture, you see her new name with the verified blue check is Mrs. Petty. Now, if you didn't know that young man's name was actually Petty, you, you think she was she just was, being funny. Right. Because yes. I did for a hot split second think that. She was just and being funny. And then I was like, all right, Kenneth Petty. Yeah. It can be a double entendre, though. All right. Now, Katy Perry has been accused of sexual misconduct by a second person. We read you last week about the first model who was in her video that said that she sexually harassed him. And it was the uh, anniversary of Teenage Dream. So he did a poll post about it and how she pulled his pants down in front of people. And Not down. He pulled them out. She pulled down his Adidas sweats and underwear to show his penis and how embarrassing it was for him. Well, now another person has stepped forward, and that is a Russian journalist, Tina Kandalaki. She said that Katy Perry allegedly tried to kiss her without her consent. She said that Katy Perry was allegedly intoxicated, and she attempted to force herself on her. She had to fight her off. She said that led to Katy Perry scanning the party in search of another victim. She said, I managed to fight back. Strength training was not in vain. And Katy instantly found a new victim for kisses, hugs, and dirty dances. Now, what about when that song, I Kissed a Girl and I Liked It, was popping? That is one well, of Katy Perry's classic records. The girl clearly records. didn't like it. You got to mm. mutually want Clearly to kiss. against it, huh? If Katy is in a party and the DJ plays that song and she sees a bunch of women singing that song, she would think that she's entitled to just go around no, kissing those young women. No, you're not entitled to at just all. kiss anyone just because there's a song about kissing on. Even if you're a woman? No, of course not. Okay. All right, Iggy Azalea has admitted that she does hate some of her own songs. She did an interview with Delish. That, that, that should never come out of her mouth. Well, I'm sure a lot of artists feel like that. They go back and listen to some of their old music when they first came out, and they're like, ugh, this didn't age well. Because yeah, some songs don't age well. I respect the honesty, but she's just setting herself up for social media failure with that one. She oh, said, if the label wants her to put out a record, she might not like it. The label's like, no, put this song out. It she happens. said, of course I get sick of my own songs. In fact, some of them I hate. Some songs I make and they didn't age well. And like a year or two later, I'm like, ugh, what was I thinking? But people still like them. So some of the songs I decide I hate, I still have to perform because the fans want to hear them. So yes, I have gotten sick of a song a lot. Of songs. How many Welcome to the Club tweets did she get? How many YouTube with question mark tweets did she get because of that? I don't know. I didn't pay attention. Mm. All right. And rest in peace and our condolences to Cedric Benson's family, famed running back Cedric Benson. He was a Texas long, Longhorn legend. He died on Saturday night. He was only 36 years old. According to the police in Austin, they said a minivan was trying to cross an intersection and it ran into his motorcycle mm -mm -mm. and both Cedric Benson and a woman were pronounced dead at the scene. Oh, there was a, there was a woman on the back of his bike? I don't know if it was a woman on the bike uh -huh. or somebody from the car, yeah. but our condolences again. He was the fourth overall draft pick in 2005. Uh, and hours before that crash, he had posted a photo of a motorcycle on Instagram, and he posted my Saturday evening mm. surrounded by hearts. So, again, our condolences to Cedric Benson's family and friends. Damn. All right, Meek Mill has done something good for his neighborhood in Philly. He actually refurbished a basketball court in his old neighborhood, and it looks amazing. And he did that with uh, Puma, Rock Nation, and the Philadelphia Parks and Rec Department and other local agencies. So shout out to Meek Mill, still doing this work out here all the time. Now, Khloe Kardashian posted a, a picture of herself on Instagram, and she wants people to know, this summer I have been focused on me from within. Mind, body, soul, focus, peace, strength. And she posted that picture of herself. Now, along with this story, French Montana did an interview with Hot Living. And he talks about a lot of different things. I guess while they were interviewing him, he was with Drake. And Drake is one of his real friends that he hangs out with all the time. And he talks about a lot of the work that he's doing in Africa. And he also talks about charitable commitments. He said, they're a must, not a maybe. He said, I just feel like a lot of rappers need to be told, you're not going to die with all that money when you go in that coffin, you're going naked. They need to know that the more you do for others, the better chance you have of getting close to that man upstairs. Then he references the great Gatsby, the young mystery, mysterious millionaire Jay Gatsby. He says, Gatsby has the biggest parties in the world and hundreds of millions of people are coming to them. But when he dies, he dies by himself. Why is that? He wasn't helping people. People were coming over to party with him, but he wasn't doing anything to help anyone. That's how a lot of these rappers I see are living their lives. But they need to know that people come to your funeral for what you did for them, not what you did for yourself. Giving back is very necessary. He's absolutely right. You'll find your true purpose when you realize it's a service to others. Does my guy French still rap, though? Yes. Yeah. Okay. He got a record out now, Wiggle with uh, Chris Brown. He just did the remix to Pop Smoke. I heard the remix to Pop Smoke. 
Right. And he also talks about Chloe in the article because, of course, they asked about Chloe. And he said, me and Chloe are always going to be friends and the family still remains close. I feel like we had a real dope relationship. There was no bad blood. Nobody did something to somebody that we couldn't come back from. The love was real. French hasn't had a big record in a minute, though, right? Mm-mm. I'm thinking about the Unforgettables. Unforgettables, the last and big record. that project. That was a dope project. Drink he had with Pharrell. Yeah. How long ago was that? Mm. About that had to be about two years ago, a year mm. and a half ago, two years ago. He's actually on tour with Wiz Khalifa right now. They all on tour. I think they just got off a of tour. Mm-hmm. French need a record. I'm sure he's working. He's got a record out right now. It just came out. Yeah, but he need one that's. All popping. right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. <laughs> 